English colleagues made a public statement that rightly called Soleimani a murderer, and then amazingly walked that message back when the far left objected to the factual statement. Since then, I believe all her criticism is directed at our own president. Another of our Democratic colleagues has been thinking out loud about Middle East policy on social media. Mere days before President Trump's decision, this senator tore into the White House for what he described as weakness and inaction. No one fears us, he complained. Unfairs us, he complained. Trump has rendered America impotent in the Middle East. But since the strike, a complete 180. That same senator has harshly criticized our own president for getting tough. Ludicrously, he and others on the left have accused the administration of committing an illegal act and equated the removal of this terrorist leader with a foreign power assassination of our own Secretary of Defense. Well, here's what one expert had to say about it. Jay Johnson, President Obama's own former Pentagon General Counsel and Secretary of Homeland Security. Here's what he said. If you believe everything that our government is saying about General Soleimani, he was a lawful military objective and the president, under his constitutional authority as commander in chief, had ample domestic legal authority to take him out without, without an additional congressional authorization. Whether he was a terrorist or a general in a military force that was engaged in armed attacks against our people, he was a lawful military objective. That's the former Secretary of Homeland Security in the Obama administration. Jay Johnson, an expert on these things. And our former colleague, Joe Lieberman, who ran for vice president on the Democratic ticket in 2000, wrote this morning that in their uniformly skeptical or negative reactions to Soleimani's death, Democrats are creating the risk that the U.S. will be seen as acting and speaking with less authority abroad at this important time. That's how a former Democratic senator sees it. Look, the Senate is supposed to be the chamber where overheated partisan passions give way to sober judgment. Can we not at least wait until we know the facts? Can we not maintain a shred, just a shred, of national unity for five minutes, for five minutes before deepening the partisan trenches. Must Democrats' distaste for this president dominate every thought they express and every decision they make? Is that really the seriousness that this situation deserves? The full Senate will be briefed on Wednesday. I expect the committees of oversight will also conduct hearings and the senators will have plenty of opportunities to discuss our interests and policies in the region. So I would urge my colleagues to bring a full awareness of the facts, mindfulness of the long history of Iran's aggression toward the United States and its allies, and a sober understanding of the threat Iran continues to pose. Could we at least remember we're all Americans first, and we're all in this together. Now, meantime, at this dangerous time, House Democrats continue to pay, play political games with their partisan impeachment of the Commander-in-Chief. Last year, House Democrats conducted the least thorough, most rushed, most unfair impeachment inquiry in history for weeks. Democrats, they said they could not wait for due process, could not conduct a normal or fair inquiry because removing the president from office was so incredibly urgent, incredibly urgent. Well, the unseriousness was obvious then and should be even more obvious now because Speaker Pelosi is now sitting on the articles she claimed were so very urgent. 
She's delayed this indefinitely so that the architects of the failed House process can look for ways to reach over here into the Senate and dictate our process as well. Democrats have tried to insist that the Senate deviate from the unanimous bipartisan precedent set in the 1999 trial of President Clinton and write new rules for President Trump. They've tried to pre-commit the Senate to redoing House Democrats' slapdash work for them and pursuing avenues that Chairman Schiff himself didn't bother to pursue. Now, Mr. President, the Senate has a unanimous bipartisan precedent for when to handle mid-trial questions such as witnesses in the middle of the trial, which when that was done the last time, and that's the way it should be done this time. 